because we're making a dessert and then we're gonna make dinner, we thought we'll call this a three course meal. We're gonna be chefs. I'm not saying any funny things. It just hit me. Okay, so morning, welcome to the start of day five. It's day six, you idiot, can you not hold it together for a goddamn week? It's actually already 12 o'clock. <laughs> I don't know where the morning has gone. Actually, no, I do. I finally got my website sorted, like the Reading Rush website. I finally got all my pages put in and all my badges put in, thank you. God. That won't be happening anymore. I've also this morning listened to another 50% of Anger Songs and Full Frontal Snogging. So I'm now 75% of the way through that. I think I'm just going to leave that to finish it off tomorrow morning when I'm getting ready because it's kind of like a quarter is kind of the time it takes me to get ready. I am still enjoying it. It's still a bit problematic. Like it still says stuff and you're like, oh. Ah. What did she say? <laughs> Just talking shit! But it does remind me of like shitty things people would think. Not, so, not necessarily myself, but like just weird opinions people would have when they're like 13, 14. So yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's never gonna be like a crazy new favorite book. However, I just think it's a fun read. There's not much, it hasn't got much substance that I can speak about about it. However, Louise Renison, the author, is narrating the audiobook. And I think she just has like, she's a bit over the top. Like she does kind of scream a lot. And sometimes if the audio is loud, you're like, She's doing a great job at giving Georgia like a lot of personality and a lot of like vibrance and really bringing the book to life. So I would recommend the audiobooks. I now want to make some progress with the family upstairs. I ended on page 35. I want to get to just after page 100 now. And then we're going to start like cooking and doing prep. We want to do a three course meal. I just want to make really good progress with this today. And I think it's going to be a really, really quick read. So yeah, let's go start reading some more of this. So I've just read to page 100 of The Family Upstairs and I don't really know how I feel about it yet. It's not very thrilling yet. Not much has happened. There's really no flavour to this, really. But we are following three perspectives. One is supposedly the baby now grown up, the baby who was found in the house with the dead bodies. The second is the son of the parents who died telling the story of what happened in the 80s. And then another is a woman named Lucy who we know that's not her real name and she's living in Spain but is homeless with her family, with her two young children. And she definitely has something to do with the family and the baby. My guess, I feel like she is the older girl, the, the daughter of the parents, but I'm not 100% sure. Not much has happened yet. <laughs> I, I still feel in the dark about a lot of things. We have found out that um, some people started living in the house before the suicide pact took place. They, I think, are kind of introducing some strange practices to the parents and, like, getting them to live a different kind of life. Yeah, it's fine, but it's not, like, oh my god, I have to know what happens next. The storyline I'm most interested in right now is Lucy's, just because I want to know what her, like, true identity is. And I guess she's got the most tension in her storyline right now. There's the most going on in that one. So that's probably the one I'm enjoying the most, but I don't feel any kind of strong way about this yet, really. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna use the blackberries that we went out and picked in yesterday's vlog, which I'll make sure I link if you haven't seen it yet. We're gonna make, is it blackberry and apple crumble? Blackberry and apple crumble. <laughs> and because we're making a dessert and then we're gonna make dinner, we thought we'll call this a three course meal. We're gonna be chefs. <laughs> I wish I had a chef's hat. Oh yeah, go on. Delia. Where are you? Let's be having you. Come on. Listen, they need to. 
gummy bears and donuts. I watch. And there's another geezer who likes ginger or fermented things. Oh, Claire from Bon Appetit. Yeah, so, but we have we have no idea what the third course is going to be. No, the starter. We can starter. Make, we can make. Some I have bruschetta. that ciabatta. We'll we'll sort something out. <laughs> but we're going to start where it ends with the uh, with the crumble crumble. Okay, so now we're gonna make the main course, which is we're gonna be making burgers, homemade burgers, and I'm gonna make some potato wedges to go with it as well. And we're also gonna prep the halloumi, which is gonna be our starter. Apologies again if you can hear the PlayStation coming away again. Wow. This is actually getting better for me as it goes along. There was something that happened about 30 pages ago that literally made my jaw drop. Like my jaw hung open for like a good 20 seconds. I can't remember the last time a book made me do that. I think I'm just over halfway. I just reached part two. So I thought that would be like a good place to stop. Things are starting to unravel. We're starting to be able to piece together what has happened. This is one of the only thrillers that I've read recently where I've tried to predict what is gonna be revealed. And I think that is because the mystery element, like the thriller element, is predominantly in the past and so it already has happened so there's a lot of hints for you to guess whereas in other threads when I don't try and theorize like it hasn't happened yet it's in the future whereas I think there's a lot more hints and a lot more everything that happens in the past is like a, a signpost to what is about to happen like I don't think really anything is mentioned in the past that isn't relevant to what is eventually going to happen because it's told through that lens. It's told through someone remembering the events that led up to the suicide pact. I still don't love it. I don't think this is gonna be a five star. It's gonna be a three or a four, but I am starting to enjoy it more and more as I go along. Lucy's part is still the most interesting to me, but we just had a reveal in Libby's part, who is the baby who was found. And that just got a whole lot more interesting. Like hers was a bit dry. There wasn't really anything going on in her storyline, but now there is. It's all like kicked off a bit. I'm really excited to see where this goes tomorrow. It's a really quick read. Like it takes no time at all. So even though I've got about 200 pages left, I really don't think it will take me that long to read it. So if you're looking for a quick read at the moment, I think that this is a good bet. It is growing on me. I think it's a very different type of thriller to anything I've read before. I'm still, even though I would class thrillers as one of my favorite genres, I'm still fairly new to it. Like I only read my first thriller less than a year ago. And so I haven't read lo loads. I've probably read around 10, maybe 15, pro under 20 at the very most, but I don't think it's really that much. I just think I just haven't read one like this before in this similar vein. So, and even if I don't love this book, I think I am gonna give Lisa Jules books like I'm gonna give some more of her books another go, even if I don't love, love, love this. The plan tomorrow is to finish this, finish Anger Songs and Full Frontal Snogging first thing in the morning when I'm getting ready and stuff. 
And I'm also gonna read a graphic novel at some point tomorrow so that I've read seven books in seven days, which I never thought I would be able to do alongside daily vlogging. But I think I've just been lucky that a lot of the books I chose were like quick reads. I'm not really funny today. I'm not saying any funny things. It just hit me. To be honest, I don't want to, the reason I'm stopping now is because I have to edit this video and I just don't want to. <laughs> I, just, I would rather just sit here and read like another 100 pages of this book because I am really enjoying it and I want to find out what's happening. But I have to go edit. Very, I'm very upset. <laughs> I really don't want to do it. Maybe I should just pay someone. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.